Oh, excuse me, brother, but the first thing Hacksaw Jim Duggan has to do is give a big ho! Kind of fires me up. Gets the blood flowing through the heart. Gets the air in the lungs. Gets Hacksaw Duggan ready to roll. Now ask your questions, tough guy. Well, the gimmick I used, you know, when I first started professional wrestling, there was a lot of fancy damn guys out there with feathered boas and sequin robes. Nothing fancy damn about Hacksaw Jim Duggan, just the two by four and the flag of the United States of America. Kind of a working man's hero type of deal. Of course, one thing about Hacksaw, I never worried about winning the match, long as I won the fight. But when I was wrestling, I was WCW television champion, the only undefeated television champion in history. I was king of the ring in WWF. I was North American heavyweight champion in UWF. But I tell you what, I don't worry about them fancy damn belts. The only thing that matters to Hacksaw and Jim Duggan is I win the fight. Tough guy. Ho! I can't help it. Sometimes I just got a hole. But two of my biggest injuries in professional wrestling was once down at the Sam Houston Coliseum in Houston, Texas, when the one-man gang ran me into the, the ring post and a bolt went into my head. Cracked my skull, it was a debilitating injury, and almost put me out of wrestling completely. But the injury that caused me the most problem and kept me out of wrestling longer than anything was a ruptured Achilles tendon, and that was about a six-month injury. question about it. There's one match that stands out in my mind and stands out in the mind of all the fans of Hacksaw Jim Duggan. That was Andre the Giant. There's only one man in the history of professional wrestling that knocked out Andre the Giant, and that's Hacksaw Jim Duggan. Tough guy, and that's what the fans remember. One of my favorite stories on the road is with my good friend Jake the Snake Roberts. We were driving down the road in a big rented Lincoln one day, running late for our show as usual. We're doing about 80 miles an hour. And wherever Jake went, he carried Damien, a 110-pound python snake. He kept the snake in a big duffel bag, and we'd always throw it in the back seat of the car. Well, the snake would always push against the bag, trying to get out. And one day we got out of the bag, so I'm driving down the road. I look in the mirror. There's this big, huge snake head behind me. So I slam on the brakes. We slide off the road, pull in a little gas station. And there's two old timers sitting there rocking in their chair. And we jump out of the car, open the back door, start wrestling with this 110-pound snake, stuff it back in the bag, throw it in the trunk, and drive off. So you know to this day, those guys got to be going, what in the world was that all about? Well, I tell a lot of folks, a lot of people come up to me and say, Hacksaw, you know, of course, they're six foot three, six foot five, 300 pounds, 24 years old. I want to be a pro wrestler. But folks, you out there got to understand, there's 1,500 NFL football players. There's 1,000 NBA basketball players. There's 100 pro wrestlers on contract this year. It's television. It's actually more competitive than sports. So what I tell kids when they say they want to be a pro wrestler, I say, hey, Play golf. It's easier on the body, and it's more money. Ho! Four! They try to put me out the pasture. They put old Hacksaw in a rocking chair on the front porch, and I sit there rocking away. But that's not Hacksaw Jim Duggan. So I work a few independent shows. I do some overseas shows, and I'm looking for a new company to start up in this country that will be a little more family-friendly without all the obscene gestures and profanity. So folks, keep an eye open for the new wrestling federation coming out soon. Look into the camera and pretend that I'm taking on some punk kid in a wrestling match. It's my favorite deal. Because, you know, now when they got these wrestling promoters that dress kids up and give them a wrestling name and say, hey, you're a pro wrestler. And they come out and they go, well, uh, I'm going to go out to the ring and I'm going to do the best job I can. I hope I win. Well, that's not Hacksaw Jim Duggan's way. The way I do it is I put my grade A hams on my hip. I stomp on down to the ring, I listen for the bell, and then I do what Hacksaw Jim Duggan does best, beat people up. So I'm not some punk kid standing down in the convenience store with my hands in my pockets going, ooh, he's a big wrestling star. I'm six foot three, 275 pounds. And if one of you punk kids want to come down and take on Hacksaw Jim Duggan, I'm not a hard man to find. And so like the game show says, come on down, tough guy.
died. Well, when I broke into the business, I was playing football. And I played my college football for SMU, Southern Methodist University in Dallas, Texas. And when I was down in Dallas, I met Fritz Von Erich. And Fritz said, Hacksaw, excuse me, he said, Jim, you'd make a great pro wrestler. And of course, back then, I was a jock. And I said, I'm a football player. But after one year in the NFL, I knew I had a spot in the professional wrestling ring. Great feuds and partnerships with and some of my greatest matches, I think, were with Theodore DiBiase, the Million Dollar Man, or Jake the Snake Roberts, and of course, Andre the Giant. Well, I tell you, one of the main things you need when you wrestle someone is someone you trust. Because when you get out, of the, out in the ring, you have to trust the man you're wrestling. Because he's going to pick you up. If he drops you on your head, you're not going to wrestle no more. So first off, you got to have someone you can trust in the ring. Second off, you just don't want some guy that can do a whole bunch of moves flying around the ring. You want somebody that can use his head. Because professional wrestling, it's not just moves. It's psychology and fan entertainment. Tough guy. Well, I tell you what, there's one man that helped me in professional wrestling more than anybody else in over 20 years of professional wrestling. And that man, God bless him, has passed away, and that's Bruiser Brody. He showed me that there's more than just going down to the ring. There's more than just moves. It's interacting with the people. It's entertaining the people, and it's taking care of your opponent. And I owe that all to Bruiser Brody. Well, my style of wrestling is a little bit different than all them other boys. No flying drop kicks, no head scissors, no fancy dan moves. What Hacksaw Jim Duggan does is I stomp on down to the ring, I listen for the bell, and then I do what Hacksaw Jim Duggan does best, beat people up. I just kick and punch. They're my favorite moves. You know, I've been wrestling for so many years, and I've wrestled all over this world and I tell you, wherever I go, it's the fans are always great. Some don't like it, some boo you, some cheer you. But what I want to be remembered as is a guy that appreciated the fans. 